Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to pour a decorative concrete back patio area. And it's going to be with non-colored sand finish. Thank you for tuning in and we hope you can stay until the end so that way you can see the entire process. Right here we're starting to put some plastic all over the um, side of the house before we start pouring the concrete. And then also um, since it's going to be a hot one today where we are um, spraying with water all of the sub grade, the, the base. So um, that will help us you know, in the curing process. And uh, these are all the tools that we have. We have uh, some different size screed uh, boards. We have some come along rakes, some poles, different tools. And uh, we're utilizing a pump for this job, especially since we have like several different things that we're doing. Right here, um, we had already framed uh, a curb. It's about 18 inches tall. And all of this concrete, it, um, it doesn't have any color or anything but it is going to be a sand finish. So um, we decided to start over here from the um, retaining, the little retaining curb wall. And then we're gonna start working our way towards this. Uh, these are like three and a half foot by three and a half foot squares. The customer wanted to have like a gap in between all of them. So that way um, it's, it creates more of a decorative look. And then uh, maybe in between the gaps, you know, they're going to put some nice rock or, you know, different kind of material. So as you see right here, we have a little screed board. Um, this is a little um, wood, you know, board that we uh, created. And we use this to kind of, uh, it, it, we, we put it on the surface of each side of the form board. And we start dragging the concrete from one side all the way to the other. And any excess concrete, we start removing it and we, we put it into the next um, square or the next area that we need. And then um, if we notice any, any little areas that are low, we also, you know, we can get a little bit of that concrete and put it into that low spot. And uh, that's how we start this process right here. So we start pouring each square with a pump. And then we're, we'll start... Um, using the screed board to make sure we have the nice level from one point to the other point. At the same time, we have some other workers uh, working on the retaining wall over there, just making sure the surface is nice and, and, and straight throughout, following the same form layout. And um, we just wanna make sure it's nice and straight. And uh, we also have a, a couple workers right there with the come along rakes. Those are very helpful as well because uh, they're able to pull the concrete and, and, and push it around. And then on the wall over here, one thing that we do pretty much uh, right away is we start doing the edging. That's what you see right there with the edger tool. And uh, we're pretty much continuing the process throughout on this other squares. So after we've screeded all of the concrete and everything is kind of where it needs to be, then we use this bull float tool and uh, we're, we're running this on all of the surface of each square. And uh, we run this in a back and forth motion. This helps us to kind of uh, um, push down the concrete and uh, just kind of keep, you know, leveling it up. Um, you know, making sure that, that the cream kind of stays at the top there. And then another thing that we do, we have this edger tool. <clears throat> um, so we have that edger tool that we also need to run on all of the um, sides of each of the squares. 
so that's what you see the same thing it's pretty straightforward you just put that right into the concrete you adjust it as as you need it but we just got to make sure that that gets done on all of the edges of each of the squares this is something that we need to do pretty much right away um, we're going to do this like several times throughout the process just to make sure that we have those um, edges all along but um, this is another thing that we do another part of the step and then um, we also run our fresno tool so that's what you see right there that's where you also we utilize that to continue to um, smoothen out the concrete on the surface uh, making sure that that the cream you know goes all over the place and uh, it helps to kind of seal the surface as well uh, so we're gonna do that on all of the squares as well so as you can tell you know it's it's quite a bit of a process that we go through at the end um, this is going to have a sand finish all of the concrete is going to be sand finish so this is all prep work that we do to make sure we get it at the consistency that we need so that way we can um, be able to get that finish at the end we're also pouring this little walkway here um, this is part of the project as well so uh, in this case we're pouring right up against the house foundation and then we have our form board on this other side that we use as a guide. And uh, since we're pouring up against the foundation, we had already made like a chalk line from, from one end, from one point all the way to the other end. So that's like our reference point that we use to get the level right. We um, making sure as they're screeding the concrete and then they're, they're also, f you know, using their hand float throughout that edge, they're, they're following that. Uh, chalk line that we had created so we always got to make sure the concrete slopes away from the house and in this case that's what we have right there um, and then as soon as we pour the concrete we screed it then from there we utilize that bull float that you see right there so we we also run that on all of the surface and right here we're gonna have a little bit of a dip right there kind of where the uh, door is so we're gonna uh, we had already had that figured out it the concrete level goes down a little bit maybe about a half an inch or so underneath the form board and um it kind of the concrete dips down a little bit right there uh where the door entry is so that way they can have enough space you know to open up the door and and it that way it'll work around that area and then from there we just continue the process um one other thing right here we also um making sure you know that we're using our hand float and our edger tool so this is a good size project i think overall we had about 15 yards um the first truck we had we had one truck show up it had about five yards and then um, after that the next truck came right away you know they had like 10 yards so this just shows you an example right here how we use our hand float we just are um, running down through all the surface and then uh, we have our little fresno tool right there and then he's using a knee pad those knee pads are very handy because uh, it lets you get in all the way to the other edge so they're able to work the concrete pretty much in all of the areas
So right here, we pretty much poured all of the concrete areas. And at this point, we're just going to be doing all of the same techniques that we went over in the video. We're just going over with our street boards, pulling away any excess concrete that we find on the surface. We're running our bull float. Um, no matter if it's a small square or a walkway or a patio, you know, we run that on all of the areas. And then once all the concrete is, is uh, worked up and everything is where it needs to be, then we, we uh, spray this um, material right here on top of the surface. Right here, we're also working the curb. Um, this also needs a little bit of work. We already pulled all of the form boards that were on the side. Um, and then we just start working up all the edges. And then from there, you know, we can spray that material all over. This is a special liquid that that is meant for sand finish. It's kind of like a bluish. Um, it kind of comes out like a bluish color. So another word for this is a retarder. So this causes a reaction with the concrete uh, cream surface. This is why we need to we need to do it at a special time. I think it's about 80% of when the concrete is kind of setting up in the very beginning. About at the 80% point, that's when we spray this all over the area. So that way it causes that reaction. So then we'll just come back the following day and we're gonna pressure wash all of the entire surface, wash away all of that material. And then um, it's gonna give us that sand finish look um, in, in all of the places. So that's pretty much the process right here.
So we're getting here at the very end of this entire process. One other thing that we like to do is put a plastic to cover all of the areas. This creates kind of like a vapor barrier there between the concrete and the surface. So that way, um, that will just also help the, that process. And then a little extra bonus, we just add some water on top. So we hope you like this video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next video.